Hi, everybody. Welcome back to .NET MAUI Minutes, a new series where we go into the basics of some .NET MAUI things for just a few minutes. Today, I am really excited to show you one of my favorite newer features for MAUI, which is MAUI support in Visual Studio Code. I'm Maddie Monaquilla. I'm on the MAUI team. And we're just going to hop right in and get started with this. Cool. So I'm in a new open Visual Studio Code window. I'm on my Mac, you can see. Um, and I have installed the .NET MAUI extension. It is currently in preview. I'm also using the pre-release version, which we ship updates to every week. So if you want to be on the latest and greatest, that is an option for you. You can switch back to release. Um, and when you install the .NET MAUI uh, extension, it's going to install the C Sharp and the C Sharp Dev Kit extensions for you. So the MAUI extension, you need a Visual Studio license or subscription. But don't worry. You can use the community one, which is totally free. All you have to do is have an account and then log in, which activates it. And it basically tells the extension that you, know, you have a license. You're allowed to use this stuff. Um, and the community license is free for open source and nonprofit and educational purposes and for businesses that aren't big yet. You can Google it for details. Um, but don't worry. You don't have to pay for it. It is still free. So the overview page of this Maui app has all of the information you need to get started. Um, we have down here the learn how to get set up docs, or if you want to do Android or iOS specific stuff. So I followed both of these. Um, I have Xcode installed on my Mac, and I have Android SDK. I have the latest installed on my Mac as well. So all of these are available to me. If I didn't have those, I wouldn't be able to do, do development for those platforms, which is fine. Maui, of course, is Android, iOS, macOS, and Windows. So on a Mac, you can do Android, iOS, and macOS. So let's pop right into seeing how this works. I'm going to go back to this home page. And I don't have anything open yet in this Visual Studio workspace or window. So once you have the Maui and C Sharp Dev Kit extensions installed, you'll get this option, Create .NET Project. So I'm going to click that. It's going to check that I'm signed in. And then it'll pop it up here in the command palette. I'm going to click Maui app. It's going to ask me where I want to put it. So I'll go into my source folder, which is where I keep, as you can see, all of my demo apps. Um, I'm going to name this one Maui Minutes. I'm going to create. Cool. Then I'm going to hit Open so it knows to put the uh, new project in there. It's going to ask me what I want to name my app. Maui App 1 is perfectly fine by me. Hit Enter, and it creates it for me right away. Um, I can also create a Maui app on the command line. So if you open the terminal, you could do .NET new MAUI. I'm not going to do that because it will create another app right here. But you can always see all the different .NET templates available to you with .NET new list. So got a bunch of Razor ones, um, specific Mac ones. And then if I go way to the top, I see .NET MAUI. So let me close out of that so we have some space back. Um, this is the regular File Explorer in VS Code right here, but I'm not going to use this. I'm going to minimize it. And I'm going to use the Solution Explorer that C Sharp Dev Kit brings in. And basically, it just tells VS Code how to read a solution file like you would in Visual Studio. So it says this is a solution called Maui Minutes. And um, in it has a project, Maui App 1, which is the Maui app we just made. And these are all the files. You can see my XAML files have the C Sharp files nested under them, which is really nice, just like it would in the Solution Explorer in Visual Studio. So if I open this XAML page here, um, I get, or a C Sharp page, either or, I get these two squiggles next to the word XAML um, in the bottom right. And that is your debug target selector for MAUI. So this comes in with the .NET MAUI extension. If you were just doing like an ASP.NET project, it would obviously deploy to your browser um, or to your console if it's a console project. But with the MAUI extension, we give you the option to change where you're debugging it to, to whatever you have set up. So like I said, I have Xcode and I have Android installed. So it will pop up with my Mac locally, all of the simulators that Xcode brings in, and then the Android emulator I have set up on my machine. But we're going to do the Mac because that is super fast. Pro tip with this menu, by the way, very cool. You can pin these things. So if you're switching between devices all the time, um, you can just click that. You don't have to wait to hover over this or select this. So let's run this. We go to the Run and Debug thing on the side. You can also just hit F5. Click that. Um, if it asks you for a debugger, you want to choose the .NET MAUI debugger at the time of this video. In the future, the .NET MAUI debugger will be going away. It will just be the C Sharp debugger, just a heads up. But um, depending on the version you're on, it might still be .NET MAUI, and it might be C Sharp. If you see a .NET MAUI debugger, just choose that one. 
If you don't, you see sharp. Just like that, it's going to build and run. Um, something cool that I just found out the other day is you can actually move this little debug bar. It's usually centered. But if you have a ton of files open, it blocks the files. You can just grab it and move it. Fun fact. We're all learning Visual Studio Code together, all of us Maui developers. Um, and then it just built and ran my app. You saw it pop up already. But that's it. It's a Mac Catalyst app. Nothing too fancy. My file new. Um, once again, this is all available in the documentation. We have a blog. We have docs. It's in the Getting Started docs for Maui, how to use VS Code. There's also a walkthrough in Visual Studio. So if you do Control-Shift, oh, click out of that, Command-Shift-P on a Mac or Control-Shift-P on Windows, and you search walkthrough, you can hit Open Walkthrough. And it shows all the walkthroughs for your extensions. We have Get Started with .NET Maui. And it walks you through it just like that how to set up your environment, all of these things. So check out the docs. Check out the walkthrough. Please submit your feedback. All of the issues for this are in the GitHub. Um, and if you go to help report a problem in Visual Studio Code, it will take you right there. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this .NET Maui Minute. And we'll see you at the next one.